Jump on one of the easiest and best freshwater coarse fish to catch. Here's my guide to how to catch one from a small river near you and the chance to win the kit I'm using. Watch and win. You know, one of the great things about chub fishing on a small river is around every bend there's a new adventure. It's so overgrown and wild here. You know, I doubt whether anybody's fished here all season. It's really exciting because these are uncaught fish. To catch a chub from a small river, a quiver tip rod is perfect. Quiver tip rods are designed for ledgering and feature a special low diameter tip that's designed to give enhanced bite indication. On small rivers and streams, a short rod between 11 and 12 feet long is ideal. The reel should be a reliable fixed spool. I've loaded this Shakespeare Agility with six pounds line. Note how the line is filled to the lip of the spool for better casting. Next, fishing in the right place helps and overhanging trees like this one make great chub swims. And here are three more swims to look out for snags, weir pools and bends. Staying mobile is the key to catching chub, moving from swim to swim, and it pays to travel light, keeping kit to the essentials. Before you fish, it's a good idea to introduce a small amount of bait into a few swims, just to get the chub in the mood. Serious baiting face there, MH. Call this bread flake, this type of bait, and it's pinched around the shank of the hook. Very, very attractive to the fish because, of course, it's slightly buoyant, so it, it wafts around off the bottom, and the fish love it. But to attract this fish into the swim, as well as feeding in small bits of bread, I've used a food blender here on a loaf of sliced bread, just an ordinary cheap slice loaf, and I've blitzed it just for about a minute in the food blender, and it produces this lovely, fine, particle of breadcrumbs which if you squeeze them together like that they stay together long enough for you to flick them in the water and then as the bread hits the water it breaks into thousands of little fragments that shatter. The idea is that as the bread particles break up they drift downstream attracting chub into the swim. But before we move on to the rig let's have a look at theory into practice and a chub caught on bread. The first fish of the trip gave a great account of itself and it was unblemished with characteristic brassy flanks and blunt head. I doubt that it had been caught before. Now for the rig. It's a simple running ledger rig using a split shot for the weight. I used just enough shots to hold the bait in the flow. More flow equals more shots. Easy. Being a bit of a creep helps in chub fishing and so too does moving to a fresh swim after you've caught a fish. A second often follows. The quiver tip helped to alert me to what was quite a shy bite and my reactions weren't too shabby either. Another chub was scooped into the landing net. This one had a great big lump of bread flake on a size 8 hook really simple ledger tactics and what an absolutely beautiful fish from a tiny little river that you can virtually jump across. So that's how simple it is to catch chub. Why not try it for yourself? <laughs>